Sunday. Like I promised, I'm back out here now. I'm doing the uh, acid side plugs. We've got a GAT 18 thousandths. A little tight, but we like it around here. Well, that's how I already previously did it when I was changing the injector problem. I didn't know I had an injector problem, but now I knew I had an injector problem, and the injector should be back hopefully early, 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 as I mentioned. You can see yesterday's motor plate is installed, so also today we'll get this thing up in the air and get these motor mounts off the side of it. Every ounce is a pound. You know how 16, you get rid of 16 ounces of a pound, every pound matters. So yeah, get it off the nose. And then we'll be free to, now that we know where the motor is positively located at, we don't have to worry about these goofy homemade mounts that are on the side of it. It'd be easier to put the aluminum motor in because I don't know exactly where it goes back in. It's got four holes to line up, that's it. Makes it really easy. So I like that a lot, big fan of that kind. So uh, yeah, let's carry on. Right, now let's do a little tech tip thing. Not a tech tip, but teach some people here that don't know the difference between what that does and what that does, okay? This is a belt-driven supercharger. It's centrifugal by design. This is a pro-charger, it's only a P1, so this is a little baby unit right here. It makes about seven PSI. And please remember, boost is just a measure of restriction relative to the engine it's sitting on. Say that, we'll say it one time with me. It's just a measure of restriction relative to where it's at. So it's the restriction in the piping, the intercooler, this, 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 these runners, and there. Restriction, okay? Turbo, exhaust driven. See, no connection to the motor. Some people say it's free horsepower. Some say it ain't. There's a horsepower cost right here in this housing. So we do affect it a little bit, it's minuscule. Nowhere near what that would eat. But anyway, this one has a different boost plug. Let's go over here. Pro chargers and most centrifugal superchargers are the same. They'll have a linear boost curve. Now it could bend up, come flat, because it's like I said, it only makes seven PSI on this motor is what it's gonna make, okay? A turbo, however, will come in and ramp up and we can maintain it. It won't persistently go up, so no matter the RPM, we can maintain. I said, Kevin, how the hell do you maintain? Things called waste gates, boys and girls, waste gates. Those, they bleed off exhaust pressure. All right, just give some of y'all newer guys that little lesson there so you understand the difference. So, Supercharger, it's a centrifugal, not a roots, not a lysol, not a whipple. And this is the turbo. All turbos are different, different back house and different all kinds of things, all kinds of different. So that's why we're openly mocking this thing, talking about it's gonna knock the bottom end out of it. They put a single plane intake on it, which means it took all the torque, those little 281 cubic inch engines it didn't have, and they said they were gonna place it with this. The problem is this ain't gonna make no, make no power to up in the RPM range. So this car is literally going to be a gutless wonder. And the owner knows it, and they're fine with it. So as long as they're fine with it, I'm fine with it. Just thought I'd explain why you would see a single runner intake on a Pro Charger vehicle. They had a theory, their theory is wrong, but we get paid to put it in no matter what, what the theory is, so there it is. Turbos can come in quicker and maintain that flat. Turbo's always better, turbo's always better. See, that is the plug gap right there. That's 18,000 something inch. She's a Titan. She's a Titan. All right, what's up, boys and girls? It's Tuesday afternoon. My injectors came back yesterday afternoon, but I didn't get a chance to get out here, but we're out here today. So, let's see what we got. We got our flow sheet from them there. Everything's golden. Get all practically brand new ones. 210 pound hour, 2200 cc. However you wanna work those numbers out. Uh, spacers are right here. So uh, let's stow them in there, really simple. Lube them and stick, lube and stick, lube and stick. Really not. I cannot say enough good things about Snake here or how they treated me. These injectors were two years old and he took and uh, fixed them for free. Absolutely no charge whatsoever. That is super good customer service. I'm beyond happy about this. Cannot say enough good things about him. Cannot say enough good things. He didn't owe me a rebuild on him. The injectors didn't fail because of anything they did. It's just because the water and the fuel rusted the seat out. But uh, so we have them redone, all ready to go. Nature of E85. It's a pretty rough fuel at times, but we love E85. It's our friend. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. Let's get these bad boys again. This is what we do it without making any more. I didn't record, but it's really easy to do. The first four lined up, now I just get my bolts in. They're there. I need to find some more space and I have lost them. It's always that way. It's always that way. 
but uh, yeah, once we get these injectors in, we'll pop the fuel on and check for leaks, and then hopefully we'll make the same extra noise we're doing space in. To the other side now. Other side. All right, so if we did this correctly, there'll be no leaks. I can't guarantee I did it correctly. Good thing is all I gotta do is this right here, and I can mainly run the pump from it. Golden. Nope, we're not golden. One. Mother of a pearl. Oh, I should never be working on cars. I had two leaks, I fixed it. Wasn't nothing. I did it. I pinched our ring. I did it, but I fixed it. Well, I keep spare because, you know, Mama raised the moron. It's okay. It's fine. I accept it. get some runs done hopefully it does better I'm hoping dear lord please but there we go okay we'll catch you later bye